Hi, Matt. What are you doing? I'm thinking about taking a trip. Fun. Where? I'd like to go to Turkey. Why Turkey? There are many beautiful things to see there. The city of Istanbul sounds amazing. I know about the Grand Bazaar. It's a large covered market. Yes, you can buy almost anything there. But don't forget to bargain. There are also many beautiful buildings there. Like what? The Blue Mosque is amazing, and so is Hagia Sophia. It was the largest church in the world for almost a thousand years. Wow! And the food sounds wonderful. I'd like to sample some manti. What's that? Turkish dumplings. They have lamb or beef in them. They're topped with yogurt. Yum! Welcome to Turkey. Start your trip in the great city of Istanbul. Visit the Grand Bazaar. It's a big old covered market. You can buy almost anything there, but don't forget to bargain. Go inside the Blue Mosque. It's amazing. Hagia Sophia is another beautiful building. It was the largest church in the world for almost one thousand years. Now it's a museum. As you walk around, you'll get hungry. Sample some manti or Turkish dumplings. They're filled with lamb or beef and topped with yogurt. Yum. Hello, Tina. 知道土耳其的传统大市集，那是一个大型的有遮顶棚盖的传统市场。It's a large covered market. 名词 market 就是市集、市场。在那里几乎什么都买得到哦。Matt 说 ，You can buy almost anything there. 副词 almost 就是几乎、差不多。在市集附近还有许多美丽的建筑物。Matt 说 ，There are also many beautiful buildings there. 名词 building 就是建筑物、房屋。他说，土耳其有种包羊肉的饺子。They have lamb or beef in them. 名词 lamb 就是羊肉。这一句里除了羊肉 ，lamb or beef， 还有包牛肉 beef 的。名词 beef 就是牛肉。Hi, Matt. What are you doing? I'm thinking about taking a trip. Fun. Where? I'd like to go to Turkey. Why Turkey? There are many beautiful things to see there. The city of Istanbul sounds amazing. I know about the Grand Bazaar. It's a large covered market. Yes, you can buy almost anything there. But don't forget to bargain. Hello, friends. You arrived just in time to learn something new in Use It. If you want to say that you are thinking about doing something, but You haven't decided if you wanted to do it. You can use today's use it. For example, I'm thinking about playing basketball, or I'm thinking about going to a movie. Got it? Then go ahead and use it. Matt 说，在土耳其的传统大市集，几乎什么都能买得到哦。You can buy almost anything there. 之前我们学过 ，anything 是用在否定或疑问句的时候使用 ，anything 也能在肯定句中使用，意思是无论什么东西，随便什么事情。来看例句 ，Feel free to order anything on the menu. It's on me. 菜单上请随便点，我请客。或是 ，I get sick if I eat anything with nuts. 如果我吃任何含有坚果的食物，我都会不舒服。我们再举一个例子 ：Let me know if anything happens. 发生什么事就告诉我。Don't forget to bargain. Don't forget to bargain. 别忘了杀价。I'm going to the market. Don't forget to bargain. I'm going to buy apples. Don't forget to bargain. I'm going to buy bananas. Don't forget to bargain. Can you give me ten dollars?、Mm. 
I'll give you five dollars. How about eight dollars? How about seven? <sighs> okay, seven. Here's seven dollars. Don't forget to bargain. Don't forget to bargain. Don't forget to bargain. 别忘了杀价 There are also many beautiful buildings there. Like what? The Blue Mosque is amazing, and so is Hagia Sophia. It was the largest church in the world for almost a thousand years. Wow! And the food sounds wonderful. I'd like to sample some manti. What's that? Turkish dumplings. They have lamb or beef in them. They're topped with yogurt. Yum. Matt 说 ，manti 饺子会淋上优格酱。They are topped with yogurt. 这里 top 是动词，意思是在什么的表面上装饰。来看例句 ：The pie is topped with ice cream. 这派上面放了冰淇淋。或是 shaved ice can be topped with fruit, beans, and syrup. 刨冰上可以放水果、豆子和糖浆。我们再举一个例子 ：The mountains were topped with snow. 这山顶被白雪所覆盖。Market. Market. Did you buy anything at the market? Almost. Almost. It's almost time for dinner. Building, building. Her office is in that building. Lamb, lamb. Max won't eat lamb. Beef, beef. I want beef in my sandwich. Hi, Matt. What are you doing? I'm thinking about taking a trip. Fun. Where? I'd like to go to Turkey. Why Turkey? There are many beautiful things to see there. The city of Istanbul sounds amazing. I know about the Grand Bazaar. It's a large covered market. Yes, you can buy almost anything there. But don't forget to bargain. There are also many beautiful buildings there. Like what? The Blue Mosque is amazing, and so is Hagia Sophia. It was the largest church in the world for almost a thousand years. Wow! And the food sounds wonderful. I'd like to sample some manti. What's that? Turkish dumplings. They have lamb or beef in them. They're topped with yogurt. Yum! What do you know about Turkey? Turkey is delicious. We eat it at Thanksgiving time. I'm talking about the country, Turkey, not the food. Oh, <laughs> well, what about the country? The capital of Turkey is Istanbul. What kind of bull? <laughs> Istanbul. It's the name of the great city. Oh, right. <laughs> There is a big covered market. You can buy almost anything there. Yay! Can I buy bananas there? Yes, but be sure to bargain. Oh, there is a church, the world's largest church, for over a thousand years. Wow! Is it still a church? No, now it's a museum. So tell me about the food there. Turkish dumplings. Topped with yogurt and filled with lamb and beef. What? No turkey? It's ginger. Huh. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Question Time—a time to ask your questions and get some answers. Today, we're talking about travel, and here to answer our question is Ms. Constance Stenopol. Hi there, Rob. Hello, Constance. Thanks for being on the show. Well, it's my pleasure. Well, Constance, I have a question here from Howie Jew of New York, New York. Can you help us answer it? Well, I'll sure try. Great. Howie wrote, "My geography teacher asked our class a question today." 
If we can answer the question without googling it, he will give our class a prize. The question is, which city in the world is on two continents? What's the answer? Please help. That is a great question. Yes. Well, Constance, you are a geography expert. Can you answer Howie's question? Of course. The answer is Istanbul, Turkey. Oh, of course. That's right. The city of Istanbul is on two continents. Part of the city is in Asia, and part of the city is in Europe. Istanbul is one of the world's largest cities. It is a very old city with a lot of history and culture. Yes, some might say it's one of the most important cities in history. I would love to visit it one day. Oh, you should. <laughs> well, thanks for answering our question today, Constance. I learned a lot. I hope you learned a lot too, friends. See all of you next time on Question Time.